I've always been philosophically opposed to the adaptation of board games into video games. I've just never understood why anyone would want to play a game like Monopoly on a console. It's just never made any sense to me. And yet, my personal opinion seems to be that of the minority. Because not only is this a video game compilation of classic Hasbro board games, but this is the third such compilation, the first two being successful enough to warrant yet another roll of the dice. Consider me thoroughly flabbergasted, but this is Hasbro Family Game Night 3 for the Xbox 360. Like the two games before it, Hasbro Family Game Night 3 is a collection of five Hasbro classics. Uh, in this case, you've got Clue, Mousetrap, The Game of Life, Yahtzee Hands Down, and, strange as it may seem, Twister. Each game can be played in a traditional or remixed form, neither of which I'd hesitate to call utterly blasphemous. Now, to their credit, the scholarly developers at Electronic Arts Play Label did a commendable job coming up with ways to adapt these board games into playable video games, at least generally speaking. I'm not sure what exactly this has to do with Twister, but hey, 4 out of 5 ain't bad. You get 4 hits every 5 times you step to the plate, you go into the Hall of Fame as the greatest hitter of all time. So it's not necessarily the games themselves, but rather it's the shadows cast by the games they're supposed to be based on. The fun of a game like Clue or Mousetrap isn't necessarily their objectives, it's playing with friends, it's writing down clues, it's actually building the trap. There's something about that interaction with your friends and family, something genuine, that these electronic versions just can't match. I guess the trade-off is that you don't have to clean up the pieces. Of course, if you can look past the absence of that intangible magic that makes actual Family Game Nights so special, this video game adaptation does do plenty of things right. The ability to use your avatars is a nice touch, and obviously Wii owners can use their Mii characters to personalize the experience as well. Now, those might seem like minor features, but especially for family games like this, they really do go a long way. The controls are really simple and accessible as well. There's no hurdles for family members who may be put off by the thought of using video game controllers and pushing buttons. It's great to be able to hand a controller to someone who can't tell an analog stick from a shoulder button and watch them pick up the controls after just a round or two. It makes it easy to find willing participants. Of course, once you find them, they'll probably ask, why can't we just play the real Clue instead? And that's the thing, apart from some dull mini-games and a few questionable design choices, there's really nothing wrong with this game. As you'd expect, EA did a great job translating these board games to their medium. They covered just about everything they could. The games play well, they look good, there's even online multiplayer of all things. The problem is, the one thing they can't match just happens to be what makes these games so special. Hasbro Family Game Night 3 may be a fun alternative for lazy college kids, but for families looking to spend some quality time together, nothing beats the originals. <laughs> <laughs>